What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the latest mesh system from TP-Link. Quick disclaimer, TP-Link actually sent this unit out to be reviewed uh, by me. They did not pay me or this is not sponsored by them at all. I can test this out, see if it's any good and uh, let's see if it's actually going to improve my internet. Uh, I've reviewed multiple mesh systems at this point. I've reviewed the one from Google Home and the one from Amazon, the Aero one. Most of those reviews are actually on my TikTok. They're not on my YouTube. So this will be the first uh, YouTube mesh system review, I guess. Will this mesh system actually improve your coverage and will it give you consistent speeds uh, throughout your house? This is the model XE75. It comes in two and three packs. Uh, the starting price of $299, so it's a little bit more expensive than other units. It covers up to 5,500 square feet and supports 2.5 gig. On each of these units, you'll have two ethernet ports, which is nice. Without further ado, let's get into the box. Let's set it up in my house and see how good it is or not good it is or whatever. We'll talk about the features and setting all that up. Before we get started, let's do a couple quick tests to see how fast my internet right now is in my setup. Uh, my router is like two rooms down the hall in the water closet. Uh, so I'm going to be doing one test over my five gigahertz band. So this is my five gigahertz band down here. It should be higher speed. Internet speed test is going right now and we're getting 18, 18 MS and 100 and about 200 over Wi-Fi. All right, let's start unboxing this and just see what's in the box. Uh, obviously a pretty big box. And it comes with a two year warranty and it supports Wi-Fi 6E, which means uh, it'll have a channel of 160 megahertz, which means higher speeds. That's all you need to know. In the box, you get obviously the two units. Um, I gotta say design wise, it looks really, really good. Um, I like the white, I've always liked white mesh systems because they just look so much cleaner. Here's a quick peel for you. Ah. And there is more peel. There we go. On the back of the unit, you get the power plug, the internet coming in from your modem and two output for uh, ethernet, which is super, super nice. The design is super, super cool. I'm gonna be interested in uh, the cooling because there's this whole open hole and it's pushed off. You can see it's a little bit off right here, which means a lot of air like it's gonna be going through, meaning the unit will be running fast. And obviously you get a second one, uh, more peel for you. There we go. Ooh, sounds so good. There we go. And you get this box that I'm assuming has all the cables. Two power bricks and one ethernet cable that is supporting uh, 2.5 uh, gigahertz. And obviously you get a menu for how to set it up. After we just did the unboxing, I went ahead and actually set up my new Wi-Fi. And the way I did it, I got two units. One unit went in the HVAC room or the water heater room or whatever you want to call it, because that's the only source that I can get coax to and my modem is there. Uh, so I plug in the first unit in there and my previous tests were actually 600 to 650 uh, download speed, which I pay for 800. And the second unit was actually upstairs by my TV station. I just wanted a unit on each level. So I put one upstairs and I actually have that one connected via ethernet. So I have an ethernet plugged through the wall from the bottom level to the top level, plugged into the back as a backhaul. I did, I did a couple of tests that one test was with ethernet and one test was just over the FET, the mesh systems. The speeds were the same. Like I was not getting more via the ethernet, which was surprising to me. Uh, because usually when you plug in directly through ethernet, you should be able to get higher speeds in that room. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. If you don't have ethernet in other rooms, that means that the connectivity between the two units is so solid that you don't have to like wire it, hardwire it to make sure you're getting the full speed. So, uh, so talking about speed, the speed actually a little bit decreased than my previous speed. My previous speed over the five gigahertz band, I was getting around four to 500, 600 sometimes. With the new one, I'm getting about 500, 550, 400. It's very, very consistent, but I expected to get the 800, which was, I mean, it's really hard to get 800 over Wi-Fi. Let's just say that, right? You guys remember the test that we did last time with my previous internet? Let's do the same test, same location. I'm right here in my room. There's not a unit in my room. The closest unit to me isn't actually in the water room, which is about 20 yards from here. Um, let's do a test going in one, two, three. Let's see what speeds we get from this location. As you can see, you can get up to the 300s, 310, 320, sometimes 330. 
and these speeds are really, really good. That's 100 over what I was getting previously. Just getting this speed in my setup right here without having to run Ethernet or Wi-Fi is really, really nice. Obviously, you have to have really fast internet, right? Uh, but this just means that the coverage is really, really good. I mean, I'm pretty far away from that unit. So to be able to still get in the hundreds over the five gigahertz uh, band, or if you want to call it, let's talk about some of the features that this mesh system has. Uh, this is the app, the, uh, the Deco app, right? It's pretty solid overall. You get overview, you get to see all the devices are connected to your, uh, when a new device connect, you will get a notification right away that this person connected to your Wi-Fi, which is something that's pretty cool. I haven't seen a lot of people do that in their, you know, um, apps and then you can monitor each device uh, individually so each of the units on the deco you can see who's connected to what and you can limit access and all the sort of above all that comes for free um, and something that's really cool in the app you can create shortcuts or smart actions if you want to call them and the action is like with one tap you can change turn off lights switch on lights or turn off lights if they're by tp link tp link makes smart lights i don't have any him right here and then the other thing is you can create an automation so you can create a schedule for the wi-fi you can turn it off at 10 you can turn it off at wherever time you want to turn it off or on if you have kids and if you want to monitor all of that and the last thing this app actually comes with this service called home shield that you can pay for uh basically as parent control real-time protection and basically just performance uh checks and all that I'm not gonna do any of this because I don't really care about any of that. If you're a person that needs extra security or extra ability to actually monitor and change things, like if you have kids, right, and you wanna be more protective over that, you can enable this, enroll in their subscription model, be in the knowing at all times on what's going on over your network. This might be something minimal. There's a little bit, there's a light on the device that lights on. You can turn off that light which is especially if you have the device in your room i don't want to be able to sleep at night and i don't want to see that light you can control that light which is awesome but yeah that's pretty much it uh honestly this is definitely the best mesh system i've tried in my house keep in mind it's not like i'm a pro i'm just you know an average consumer i love gaming I'll, i do tech from home i i do a lot of stuff with tech so uh, me and my wife we use a lot of devices during the day and we've tested a bunch of them. I'm gonna keep you guys updated after a while of using this device. So I'll probably be posting updates in a month, maybe to my YouTube channel in a short form or TikTok or Instagram. And it's been two weeks since I've been using this mesh system and I've had zero, zero issues. It hasn't dropped once and the speed has been consistently when I test it at random. But overall, from all the tests I've performed in different locations of my house, the coverage, reliability, and speed seemed really good. I have around 40 to 50 devices connected to my mesh system. Uh, so with all that connected, I have tons of smart lights. I haven't had any issues. Uh, I've been using it most of the day today after I set it up. You know, I'm working from home, so I've tested it on my phone. I've asked my wife how it's performing, and everything seems really, really good. So if you're wondering if this TP-Link mesh uh, XE75 worth the $300. In my opinion, it is because it's really hard to get a good uh, mesh system that is reliable with speed, coverage, and reliability and performance. All those things in one package usually cost way more than $300. So in my opinion, uh, totally worth it. If you guys wanna check out the system, I'll leave it down below a link for it to Amazon. You can check it out yourself and uh, get more information about the product from the Amazon page. Thank you again so much for watching. I truly appreciate it if you stopped by this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.